Data Protection Act of 1998 for 20 years was the law that protected the personal data of individuals from misuse. This defined eight principles that organizations must abide by when they handle individuals' data. In 2018, a new European law came into force called the General Data Protection Regulations. In the UK, we actually implemented the GDPR as a UK law called the Data Protection Act 2018, but it's the same as GDPR. This changed the original principles of the Data Protection Act a little, though the core purposes of the law remained the same, to keep people's personal data safe and secure and prevent its misuse. There are seven key principles to the Data Protection Act 2018. These are Lawfulness, fairness and transparency. You must have legitimate grounds for collecting and using the data and do not use it in any way that the individual would not reasonably expect, would have adverse effects on them or in an unlawful activity. Purpose limitation. You must be clear from the start as to why the data is being gathered and if you wish to use data for another purpose, ensure it is fair. Data minimization. You must ensure the data is sufficient for the purpose you gathered it and no additional information is held that you don't need for that purpose. Accuracy. You must ensure reasonable steps are taken to ensure accuracy. The source of the data is clear and data should be updated if necessary. Storage limitation. You must review how long data must be kept for its purposes and securely delete data that is no longer needed or is out of date. Integrity and confidentiality. You must be clear on who is responsible for ensuring data security, ensure good security tools and techniques are implemented, and respond to breaches quickly. And accountability. You must be able to demonstrate your compliance with the law. In addition to this, the Data Protection Act gives individuals several rights in regards to their personal data. These include the right to be informed. You must be given clear information on what your data is being used for. The right of access. You can access the data being held on you. The right to rectification. You can request for your data to be updated where incorrect. The right to erasure. You can request for your data to be deleted. The right to restrict processing. You can request that your data not be used for certain reasons. The right to data portability. You can request a copy of your data for your own purposes. The right to object. You have the right to stop your data being used for certain reasons. And the right over automated decision making. You can request reasoning behind automated decisions. Organizations have a month to respond to a request made by individuals for their data to be rectified, erased or a copy be provided. There are also restrictions on the international transfer of data. Data cannot be shared with other countries that do not have good data protection legislation, even within the same business. In the UK, these principles are enforced by the Information Commissioner's Office. The ICO will investigate potential breaches of the law and find those guilty of these breaches. The maximum fine is 20 million euros or 4% of a business's annual turnover, whichever is largest. The Computer Misuse Act was brought into force in 1990 to protect users against the theft and damage of the information they store using IT systems. In 2006, the Police and Justice Act extended the Computer Misuse Act. Broadly speaking, the legislation covers hacking and spreading viruses. You can even be punished for attempting hacking, even if not successful. You also don't need to have malicious intent. If you gain unauthorized access to a system but do nothing, you can still be punished. This law identifies four different computer misuse offenses that can be punished. Offense 1, unauthorized access to computer material. For example, the hacking of a computer system. This can be punished by up to two years in prison and or a large fine. Offense 2, unauthorized access with intent to commit or facilitate the commission of further offenses. For example, using the data obtained by hacking to blackmail someone. This could be punished by up to five years in prison and or a large fine. Offence 3, unauthorized acts with intent to impair or with recklessness as to impairing operation of a computer. For example, altering the data found when hacking a system, spreading malware which damages data 
or committing a denial of service attack. This can be punished by up to 10 years in prison and or a large fine. And Offence 3A Making, supplying or obtaining anything which can be used in computer misuse offences. For example, creating a malware program such as a virus or worm that can be used to gain access to a system and or harm data. This can be punished by up to two years in prison and or a large fine. So, the Data Protection Act 2018 protects the personal data of individuals from misuse. It has seven principles. Lawfulness, fairness and transparency, purpose limitation, data minimization, accuracy, storage limitation, integrity and confidentiality, and accountability. It also gives individuals rights to their data, including the right to rectification, erasure, and data portability. It also makes it illegal to transfer data to another country that doesn't have proper data protection legislation. The maximum fine is 20 million euros or 4% of a business's annual turnover, whichever is largest. The Computer Misuse Act 1990 makes acts like hacking and distributing malware illegal. This is four offences. Unauthorised access to computer material. Unauthorised access with the intent to commit or facilitate commission of further offences. Unauthorised access with intent to impair or with recklessness as to impairing operation of a computer. And making, supplying or obtaining anything which can be used in computer misuse offences. Punishments vary based on the offence but can be up to 10 years in prison and or a large fine.